and his dogs were um, pepper sprayed, the house completely ransacked. Um, yeah, it's, um, it's bad. We begin with this, Encino residents living in fear as a wave of home burglaries sweeps the area. Thieves even going as far as to pepper spray family dogs. Welcome to the Fox 11 News at 5 simulcast on our sister station, Fox 11 Plus. I'm Christine Devine. I'm Alex Michelson. We're on a few minutes early because of that breaking news. And we begin with this, the relentless crime has some considering moving out. Fox 11's Christina Gonzalez live with the story you'll see only here on Fox 11. Yeah, and we're talking about communities walking distance to Ventura Boulevard in highly priced real estate, but also those affected by that 4.5% increase in residential burglaries the chief of police has been talking about. In this case, they are investigating and they have really good security video watch. They didn't even mask themselves until they got right up to the door. Two suspected burglars caught on videotape breaking into one Encino home Saturday afternoon, breaking in and quickly trying to disable the security system. This is where they ripped out. While the family was out for a bite, they seemed to be the same guys in this video at a gated community across the street. Uh, they jumped this gate here on Saturday at about 7.50 in the evening in broad daylight. But a vehicle comes in shortly after they take off. But those are definitely the same two guys that did the house up the street. There's and these photos, they're from a third home nearby, where off-camera residents say the pair broke in on Saturday. Homes off Ventura Boulevard in Encino are being targeted by burglars. The first time in 22 years, we were not home. They were in and out of the house in four minutes. There's alarms, there's gates, there's motion sensors, there's sirens. There's even dogs. <coughs> These two were found hiding at the first burglarized home we visited. Their owner saying guard dogs at another friend's house did not deter burglars there either. It happened to him twice in four months. Yeah, twice in four months. And his dogs were um, pepper sprayed, the house completely ransacked. Um, yeah, it's, um, it's bad. How long have you guys lived here? 22 years. 22 years? Yeah. Have you ever seen anything like this? I haven't, and it's disappointing. It's a great neighborhood, a great community. It's the first time that I've actually thought of leaving. It's a beautiful neighborhood. It's a shame if people, you know, start moving because they don't feel safe. And LAPD saying, take a good look at those images. We're going to have them on our website at foxla.com. The one thing that is helping that this community really has taken to heart is they're sharing photos. They're using social media. They're using, um, you know, all the apps like Citizen, like Nextdoor, and connecting those dots for investigators. So it's really working out well for them. Hopefully they'll get these guys caught. I'm Christina Gonzalez, live in Encino. Back to you in the studio. Christina, I got to think these residents feel like they've done everything they can to be safe and protect their homes. Do police have any leads for them? You know, at this point, they're not telling us that they do. They are following up. They may have fingerprints from one of the locations. You saw that the guys were pretty lackadaisical about the whole thing. So, uh, you know, it, it, they should be able to catch him. But we have been here before. We were up the street at Maria's Kitchen. They got broken into, what, back to back in a row. So something is going on in this area. And they are really, I, I do see in the future that police are probably going to start meeting with community members more because something has changed here in the last few years. And there's a lot more burglaries that there have been. So we'll have to see. But, yeah, hopefully they'll get some tips out of this.